So although you said there's no other beverages on a nutritarian diet, we do use a lot of plant milk and not dairy milk, plant milk. Can you talk a little bit about why you wouldn't recommend dairy to anyone and urge them to drink plant milk instead? Well, yeah, I, um, like I had the, the cereal soaked last night and I soaked it in soy milk overnight. And sometimes we make a, a, a nut milk and I prefer to put some hemp seeds in the nut milk. So it's almond hemp, walnut hemp, you know, something with the hemp, flax hemp. Mm -hmm. So mixing some hemp seeds with the milk, because obviously hemp seeds and walnuts have the most omega-3 fatty acids. In it. So I prefer the almond milk have some hemp seeds mixed in. So we'll I'll buy commercial hemp milk sometime or commercial soy milk. But the soy milk I'm using is made from two ingredients only, organic soybeans and purified water. Because there's some soy milk brands that have a lot of additives. Yeah. Vitamin A, folic acid, which is not good for you. And some soy milk brands are made from organic soybeans and water. Organic soybeans and water, they're using municipal water, sink water, with chlorine in it or fluoride in it, you know, right? Right. So we're getting purified water with the soy milk. So there's a few brands that have the, so I'll use that. But I'm not like guzzling, but I do use it on my cereal in the morning. It's, you know. I love enjoying cereal. I feel like we yeah. both enjoy yeah. healthy cereal. Today I had both pomegranates from our own pomegranate tree with wild blueberries mixed in with the flax, chia, and hemp with a little bit of the the um, overnight oats. And so I had, and soaked in soy milk overnight. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what about dairy? Why, why do you choose plant milk over dairy? Well, lots of reasons, but the, the main reason is that milk raises IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor one. And IGF-1, we're trying to keep IGF-1 low because milk is a dairy products and milk is a product to accelerate growth in the cow. It's designed for the cow and it maximizes growth. And especially adults drinking milk is a gro has growth promoting hormones that the body produces their own growth promoting hormone in response to the protein structure of the milk. And, the, and that growth promoting hormones can drive cancer. And there's a link between um, Obviously, the strongest link is between dairy and prostate cancer in men, and dairy and ovarian cancer in women. So, so we it's not so it's much. And also, soy products have more than a thousand studies, a thousand studies showing, in spite of what people think and they believe the nonsense on the internet, the real studies show that soybeans, including not just the edamame and the dried soybeans cooked, but also soy milk and tofu are linked to lower rates, of breast, lower rates of breast and prostate cancer. Can I get a PSA on that? There's definitely a lot of myths around soy, so I'm happy for you to set the record straight. What's a PSA? Public service announcement. Well, the same as a male a PSA blood test for prostate cancer. Oh, it's really? PSA. Oh, oh. oh, oh that's cool. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the, yeah, I'm the reporter, you're the doctor. Okay. Um, <laughs> so back to then the vegan milks, the plant sources, you really don't encourage people to drink, as you said, the carbohydrate like oat milk. Is that because, and that doesn't, we can have it in moderation or is that because it's very sugary? What's the, what's the reasoning behind that? All carbohydrates turn into sugar in the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. So we take that carbohydrate and we turn it into, it enters the blood as sugar. And it enters, and when you, when you drink, I don't even recommend flour um, because it, it, it's ground too fine. It enters the bloodstream too rapidly as sugar. Like even white whole, flour you mean or whole wheat flour? Whole wheat flour. I don't even recommend whole wheat flour. Really? Yeah. It's still too finely ground. It has too high a glycemic effect. If you're going to have bread, that's why I'm eating the Ezekiel bread or the manna bread because they're sprouted grains that are coarsely ground. They didn't grind it to a fine flour so that you're not entering the bloodstream as rapidly. It's not the glycemic load is much lower. It's Those, more of a seedy bread. It's a seedy bread. But also they're using grains. It's a set like the Ezekiel bread, it's a seven grain bread. Mm -hmm. But they sprouted the grains and then they crushed them and they baked them into a loaf. Right. So it's not the same thing as grinding it to a fine powder, of like paste, like whole wheat pastry flour. Mm -hmm. The flours are too rapidly absorbed and the flours contain some degree of mycotoxins that are not really that favorable because we are exposed to a lot of mold in our environment and why take the extra mold in flowers? Well, if you took the oat groats instead of oat flour or the whole wheat berries instead of the whole wheat flour or the, or the you know, you sprouted the grains, it's much cleaner food mm -hmm. and healthier for you. Makes sense. So I'm not, so the right, so carbohydrates enter the bloodstream is sugar and when we eat carbohydrates, their digestion is initiated in the mouth. And it's not just the, 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 the tylen, in the saliva that, helps, that initiates the digestion of carbohydrates. It's also chewing 
and mixing it with saliva. And the saliva mixing with the carbohydrates causes some um, secretion of beneficial anti-inflammatory compounds and epithelial growth factors that heal the lining of the gut. So there's, so there's some negative effects from drinking carbohydrate liquids. So like apple juice is a really unhealthy thing to drink, to drink apple juice. It's not that, but to eat an apple, you're chewing down fiber and you're mixing with saliva and there's chemicals and bacteria in the mouth and all these things are getting mixed up into a completely different chemical concoction when you chewed the apple up compared to you drinking some apple juice. So we're doing it differently. We're not, so we're not drinking liquid carbohydrates. So we're not recommending people drink rice milk or, or oat milk.